Hello everyone, hope you're having an excellent day today. I'm doing pretty good. Unfortunately, we have another angry haul video to do, so let's get started. I've said it a bunch of times how I generally dislike the idea of haul videos. However, I will never get tired of talking about how much I love Lego, especially the old weird stuff like this. The first thing we have to look at today is a bunch of Knight's Kingdom 2 stuff. I had a number of these as a kid, not all of them, so um, definitely need to go back and complete the collection. So I've got a number of figures here. Got two different versions of King Matthias. Got the first one here with a very nice box, instruction booklet and original stickers. There's also a promotional map that was inside this box. It's really cool. Got a second version of King Matthias here with the much more updated armor and shield. Looks really cool as well. You've got an original Santis here. One, this is one that Steven had and really enjoyed playing with as a kid. It was his favorite character. He is nice and complete. The packaging looks pristine, so i uh, going to be popping this open to build at some point. You've got a used Danju and Vladek over here from the first wave as well. I had both these as a kid. Um, neither of these two were my favorite character, but I enjoyed them a lot. Both of these aren't quite in the best shape. Vladek has the wrong sword, missing a piece or two on his legs. Danju's sword is a little bent, so I'll have to replace it with one that I think I have in my collection. But uh, save me a lot of time from digging all those weird pieces out of my very obscure Bionicle and other pieces bins. Excited to add more to the Knights nice Kingdom 2 figure collection. I'm not in a big hurry to get these, but I do want to get all of them at some point in the future. Just gonna make some room on the table here. It sounds worse than it really is. Next, we have this Hogwarts Durmstrang ship. This is a really cool set. I got it built for a great deal, and uh, I've already dropped this in the bin once <laughs> in a short video uh, not too long ago. Steven really wanted to see it though, so I fished it out of the bin, rebuilt it, so he could check it out and look at it for a while. He, I think he kind of wants to keep it or retrofit it into something else, but we don't have space. It's going in the bin. If he wants to use the pieces, he can look up the instructions online and do whatever he wants with it and rebuild it. Yeah, you know the deal. Anyway, I'm glad I got this. It has some really cool shields, which I'll be pulling out and putting in my shield bin with my other minifigure accessories. The fabric sails are awesome too, so there's some pieces I want to use and some mocks in the future. But uh, for now... <laughs> oh, it's on, it's on the very edge. Harry Potter is far from done though. We've got this nice Mandrake set. When this set was first leaked and released and promoted, I was very excited about it. I think it's a really cool subject to build, especially at this scale. This was at Sam's, I think, like on a discount from retail. This is a new retail set. So um, I'm glad I was able to get it for a little bit of savings. I've yet to build this though, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that soon. I don't think I'm gonna keep it together for a long period of time, but I do love all the pieces in there. Speaking of cool plants, we got a couple botanical sets here. I've already built the Plum Blossom set. Um, it was a fun little build, has some great pieces. Love the sand blue pot. Um, so that is an empty box that I'm waving around. It's actually over, it might be up at the house actually. It's, it's built and it will be in a video being dropped in the bin because I don't plan on keeping these together that long. The other one is the uh, Chrysanthemum, which is another cool botanical set. Love that sand green curved elements there. Excited to build this as well. I think they actually kind of go together as a pair, but they aren't gonna last that long. Next, we have Thor's Hammer, the big buildable Marvel set. I got this a long time ago. I just cleared it out of my office from where I used to work, Atlanta Brickco. This is just a really cool build. I wanted to have it on hand in case I want to smash things, but uh, I'm probably gonna end up taking it apart. I don't really have a lot of room for big clunky builds like this. Um, as cool as it is, as functional as it is, I think it's just gonna be useful to have those great pieces for castles and spaceships and all sorts of other things. So, Thor's hammer. <laughs> all right, uh, last plant related set, I believe. Uh, we've got the little Mario, what is this called? Little chomper plant. And uh, yeah, these are great. I've gotten, I think, at least one or two of these already because the pieces are fantastic. You've got these printed curved elements up here, a lot of good Technic green elements. Um, I'm a big fan of medium green. I don't have a lot of pieces of that color in my collection. So this pot is great too. A good deal if it's built. It's not a super cheap set if it's sealed, but if you can get a deal on it, it's a win-win in my opinion. But obviously this is not staying together for long. 
Steven got a couple sets recently too. He got this little shell car, which is very nice. This is very nostalgic for both me and him because uh, we got a couple of these shell sets as a kid. I think I got the little police car with the police lady inside of it. Probably got the uh, hospital trike as well. When would a uh, you know medical worker be driving a three-wheeler? But great little nostalgic shell tie-in gas station set. Really unusual. Also, Steven got Jedi Bob Starfighter. This is an empty box. It's built over there. Planning on doing a little fun skit with it at some point soon. Empty boxes just don't have the same ring. This might be a surprise to some people, but um, it also might make sense in the future. Let's just put it that way. Getting some Nexo Knights sets for the pieces and the colors. Oh, that came off. It's already falling apart. Terrible set design. The trans neon orange is super useful for Tron, and I wanted to have some of these joint pieces for mechs in the near future. Uh, both Exoforce and other themes that I want to explore. So this is not going to stay together long, though, because I plan on doing a fun little video of me smashing it. So uh, more carnage on the way. These are probably the weirdest thing in the video here. We have a couple pretty much complete Spybotic sets. You probably don't even know what Spybotics are, but if you look them up on BrickLink, there were four sets. They were all basically kind of like a Mindstorm spinoff. You could program the little hub to do different activities, a little vehicle that could move or um, you know do different things, drive around, remote control cars, but with a spy twist. I love these as a kid. I never actually got them. They were just a little too expensive for me back in the day. This would have been 2002. And my Lego budget was pretty small back then. I was getting the Shell gas station set, not these. But they're super cool, weird colors, weird pieces, and the Purple one was in working order when I got it. I could probably just change the batteries and get it going again. The blue one here has the original CD and some, some of the instructions as well. So hold on, is this a poster? It's kind of a poster, kind of instructions. Like you could basically frame that with the cool 2000s art. That's neat. Anyway, welcome agent. There you go, very spy themed. I don't have a CD drive anymore, so I'll have to figure out how I could possibly get this to work if I wanted to reprogram this one that is a little more broken up than the purple one. Yeah, that's a research project for another day, but I'm really glad to have these. I think I could see myself collecting all the spy products. There's only four, just need the green and red one as well. So halfway there, not too bad. I'm gonna be kind of gingerly with these because I don't want to break anything. They're pretty sturdy. Getting down to the end here, but we have one more Spirius set. This is basically the second to last Spirius set that I need to complete the collection, even if I'm not planning on keeping all my Spirius sets on display. I think the only one that I'm going to keep is the Saucer Centurion, which I really love. The other ones I wasn't as big a fan of, so they're going to be rebuilt into Spirius themed mocks at some point. But this little robot, he was a good deal. I kind of like him. He's actually, I think, a little more approachable than the larger one, so I'm going to add that to my Spirius pieces. And last but not least, this is something I never thought I'd actually go out of my way to get, but it's a video, one of the main package figures. That I think it was 10 or $15 when they first came out, way too expensive for a single figure and, and an app song integration. Ridiculous concept. We've all talked about video and how terrible it is or seen how terrible it is in the past, but this one's kind of special though, because recently there were some D&D &D figures up there that kind of reintroduced that dragon head mold in gold. And the Dragonborn figure is very in style right now, so having a red version of that mold is very useful. This is a little bit harder to find now, I believe, because of that uh, desirability. I know my friend Dana has been collecting dragon heads like crazy for his dragon space minifig tangent. So uh, I wanted to get a red one just to make sure I had one. I don't think I had any of this figure before, so I was willing to pay a little bit of a premium for the sealed box just to have that complete figure. Trying to increase the amount of fantasy figure elements I have, especially if they're adjacent to something that I think is so cool. I'll be building that and doing a fun review at some point as well. I think that's about all I have to show you guys today. I did also get um, probably about eight pounds of bulk brick, a lot of large, unusual pieces there. Uh, some of them have already snuck their way onto some sorting streams and more will be there as well. You'll see when I pull out, oh, this is a crazy weird piece. Go ahead and check those out Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern, most Sundays, I should say. That's about it. Thank you for joining me on this angry, well, actually not so angry hobby. I was kind of happy and cheerful about all this stuff. There's definitely gonna be some additional content soon where I you know, go into detail of how I'm destroying all these things. Stay tuned for all that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.